everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little sketchbook tour and review for you of the Holbein's multi-drawing book. So, with that said, let's get started! One of the features about this book that I actually really liked was this little uh, pull bow that you use to tie up your book. I thought it was really cute and I'm just like a sucker for these kind of details. The book is also spiral bound, but it has a hard cover. So here's the first thing I did in this sketchbook. Just a little watercolor of Snork Maiden. I did this in 2019, so that's when I started this sketchbook. The uh, paper is heavy enough to take light watercolor. I wouldn't do it, use it for anything more intensive. And then here's some flowers. Some terrible Pikachu's. <laughs> it does take Posca pen fairly well. It gets a little rough. Sometimes the paper gets a little rough. An unfinished Posca sketch. Just some sketching ideas. It takes ink really well. Of course, it takes all um, dry media well. These were some watercolor sketches I did to plan out an illustration that I actually ended up doing digitally. You can see that it, it takes watercolor wash, just very simple washes, but you will get like cauliflowering and stuff on this because it is just a paper. It's not cotton. Here's another a Posca pen piece. Another very light watercolor. These are um, a Tombow pen that I was trying out. I actually really like this piece. I really love Opera Pink too. <laughs> but yeah. more watercolor, more ink studies. And more of the same. At first when I started the sketchbook I was super happy with it because it does take heavy inks well and it does take watercolor and Posca fairly well. Copic, oh yeah here's a Copic example. Um, of course, let's see, it bleeds on the back, so you'll want to put a paper underneath any um, Copic work you do, and apparently I didn't like how this paper bled with the Copics. But maybe you might feel differently. This one was where I felt like the watercolors started getting kind of splotchy and I don't know why. It could be because maybe part of the paper of this book was in a second batch and it was sized a little differently. Um, but I was not happy with trying to do a big wash in here. That being said, after that I went and did this watercolor, so, eh. On the backs, of course, they're not going to be quite as nice because they don't have the nice texture and everything. <sighs> so let's see, I think that's more watercolor or Copic or something. <laughs> I 
kind of like this, this sketch. This was another piece where I tried to do a more intensive watercolor, but it just, the watercolor wasn't working out on this paper. So I ended up going over it with a bunch of colored pencil. And then I ended up with a result that I, I fairly well liked. But I think if you wanna do watercolor in this book, it's gonna be better off just to keep it simple, like single washes, maybe two washes. There was the planning sketch for this larger piece over here. And lots of doodles. Um, I think on this one you can kind of see some of the stuff that was happening with the watercolor. Like these rough edges because the paper would bleed a little bit. And that this was just two washes obviously. So you're not going to get anything that you could I feel like turn into a print or anything, but if you're just trying to get um, some ideas down, it would definitely work for that. It takes colored pencil really well, as you can see. Some ink over watercolor splotches. I had seen another artist do it and I just wanted to try it. It does take ink really well. Some flowers. I kind of like that idea now that I see it again. I might have to do something with that. And that's the end of the book. And that's just something I taped in there. It's uh, a little piece of plastic to prevent bleed. That's what I kept in there. And that's pretty much how the book is. There's no extra pockets, no nothing like that. So my final thoughts on this sketchbook. I feel that it's good for just getting ideas down. And it does work with a lot of different mediums. Um, I wish it had worked a little bit better with watercolor. But for the price, I think it's uh, pretty reasonable just for a, a bona fide sketchbook for getting ideas down in. My personal favorite though is still going to have to be the Mossery Multimedia book. So, because I feel that the, uh, the weight of the paper is heavier and I feel that it just takes wet media a little bit better than this one does. Um, that being said, if you're searching for your perfect sketchbook, you might still give this one a try because everybody has their own preferences and, and such when it comes to sketchbooks. So I wouldn't write this one off completely because I feel that it is a pretty solid sketchbook. But just keep those things in mind that I said that about the not taking wet media quite as well as I would have liked, but maybe you're the type of person who doesn't really want to do wet media, in which case this would be perfect for um, colored pencil, pastels, and other dry media for sure. 
Well, that's it for this little sketchbook tour and review. I hope you liked it. And if you did like it and you would want to subscribe to my channel, you're more than welcome to. And uh, don't forget that I have an Etsy shop where I sell my artwork and I have comics and all sorts of other things for you to check out. Like my social media because Instagram's really hard to get any play on right now. So follow me on Instagram, please. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of that. So uh, thank you for watching again and I will see you next time. Bye bye.